what's up agent zero here and guys it's coming back i've been wanting to do this for quite a while now and it's finally happening so we are going to be bringing back the uh single player survival series now if i go ahead and click on play as you can notice as you notice i do not actually have a survival world created as of just yet and today's not even going to be the first official episode either because here's what I want to do okay so if I go ahead and click on create new world what I want to do is I want to create um no wrong button I want to create three uh randomly generated seeds uh for th uh on three different worlds so let me go ahead and click on this and I'm going to change this if my keyboard, there we go. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be doing seed A. And there we go. And then we're going to leave this in, in infinite and creative. And let's go ahead and create this world. So, here's what's going on. What I want to do is I want to create three different randomly generated seeds. And, and I want you guys to vote on... Which of these three seeds you want me to start off with? And so, right now we're looking at seed A. Um, so apparently for seed A we spawn right near a river in... Is this a spruce forest? I, I think this is spruce. Or is this dark oak? No, I think this is spruce. I think we're in a uh, taiga, I think is how it's pronounced. So yeah, um, let me go ahead and do this. Alright, so, so we're just going to take a little bit of a fly around, see what's in the area, and then we're going to go ahead and generate another seed. So apparently there's like no end in sight for these um, spruce trees. We have a bit of an odd generation over here. What is this? Is this anything special? I don't think it is, but anyway, so... Yeah, we're just going to end up spawning in a massive taiga, spruce forest, whatever it's technically called. I know it's got a name. I don't know what it is. So let's see. Is there anything special nearby other than this river? I see... I see a... No, um, I think this is an oak forest, which... I mean, is pretty good. Oh, look at that. Look at this tree. This is cool. This is a really big tree. You know what? I think I may eventually want to do like maybe a tree house or something, and I think this would actually be the perfect tree to do it in. However, no promises, because again, we're just trying to find a decent seed to start uh, the single player survival series with. And uh, yeah, so um, I don't know if there's really much else to explore as of this moment. So. Are we going to go back to the tile screen? Oh, yep, there we go. So if I go ahead and click on this, go ahead. Here we go. We have our seed already generated. So, yeah, so I'll I'll pull uh I'll write down each of these three seeds and I'm going to um put them next to the uh tiles of each seed. So this one's seed A. If I go ahead and do this again, and I go ahead and name this seed B. Just like that. No wrong button. And so, okay, we have everything ready for that. Alright, now let's see where we spawn this time. Okay, let me go ahead and clear my inventory again. Alright. So let's see, what do we have nearby? We've got ourselves a um got ourselves a birch forest over here, which is nice. Oh, we got a bunch of flowers over here. Suppose I could try making like a flower form or something, make dyes. And that's really good. Ooh. What's down here? Oh boy. Well, um well if we have this seed, we um have ourselves a cave right off the bat. I'm not going to ex actually explore too much of it. Um, because I want to see if you guys are interested in this seed before I go ahead and get started. And if we do end up choosing this seed, 
Um, then we have a uh, really fast uh, place for uh, materials. Now, whether or not I can get down to the bottom without taking damage, that's another question. But look at that. We've got a uh, naturally generated cave down here to start off with. And is this another spot to the surface? It is. So, okay, so there's several uh, entrances uh, from, uh, from above. Anything down here? Nothing that I'm seeing, but this is awesome. We've got ourselves a little bit of a cave system to start um, this uh, world off here. Now, what else do we have nearby? I'm not seeing much of any. I've seen some, um, some odd terrain right here. What is this? Okay, so it's just um, chunks that haven't loaded yet. This is nice. I am not sure what's down here, though, but this is nice. And then over here, we have a little bit of a plains biome, which would actually be a really good place to build our first house if we decide to build more houses. I don't think we will. But here we go, and we oh. You got some horses down here and a donkey. So, I do not know if these are going to spawn naturally on uh, this seed if we do it a second time, but one can hope. Even though we may not necessarily have a saddle right off the bat, but there we go. Is there anything else nearby that would make this a good seed to start off with? I mean, we've got the birch forest, like I said. We've got a couple of caves nearby. We've got ourselves another river. No, this is a uh, pretty nice. Okay, so now that we've got an idea of what this is, and is it gonna crash this time? I hope not. Nope, no. So now we have that seed. So let's see, what is this seed? Okay, got this seed right here. I'm gonna write each of these down, and. And like I said, I'm going to put them next to the actual uh, seed name. So here's the last one, seed C. And then let's double check everything. Yep, we should be good. All right, so where are we going to spawn this time? All right, let me go ahead and clear my inventory again. You guys might possibly be wondering exactly what it is I'm doing to clear my inventory, but to be honest, that's just a simple little trick that I can use because I have a um, game controller. I found that out when I first got it. Got it. Um, so let's see. I'm not seeing too much here. So we have a few trees off in the distance. They all seem to be uh, normal oak and birch. I did see this down here. What's this? Is this just a cave? It looks like it. Okay, we've got iron right off the bat, which is good. Don't know how much of it passed uh, these three. But this is nice. I mean, you could definitely... Uh, wait a minute. Is this it? Well, we've got iron. We've got coal to start off with. But there's not too much else in here because we hit a dead end. But... Hey, we're starting out with some uh, decent resources, so that's a good sign. We got ourselves an ocean biome, which, considering the fact we're going to end up getting uh, ocean monuments or ocean temples, whatever they're called, in 0 0.16, and I'm still on uh, 0 0.15, I suppose that what I could do is, if I use this seed, I can choose not to go exploring the ocean, because then that way there's plenty of ocean left to generate and give us a chance to actually generate one of those ocean monuments. So what do we actually have over in this direction? I know I said that we've got oak and we've got birch, but is there anything else interesting? We got ourselves a couple islands over here. And what's that down over there? Okay, it looks... Is this... This looks like a dark oak forest, because if I'm not mistaken, dark oak trees actually um, spawn, uh, grow in a 2x2 two two trunk. So we've got a few different options for trees. Ooh, sugarcane. I mean, 
We may not need it right away. What's in here? It's probably not going to be much. No, it's not much, but that is an interesting lob. A looking piece of generation. We got coal from this as well. How far does this go? Oh, we've got some iron on the surfaces for here as well. Okay, that's nice. So, yeah, it doesn't. Oh, another normal cave down here. Is this going to end in a dead end? It is. But we saw a few caves. We saw that we have some good resources to start off with. So. Yeah, I think that's about it to showcase for the seed. Now, the thing I may have a problem with regarding this seed is actually being able to have a decent place to stay the first night at because the trees, we spawn like, I want to say like right here or something. Yeah, I think we spawn right here. And granted, it's not too far a walk from here to these trees. It's still a bit of a trek. And then again, we still are going to end up needing to um, get some food resources going. We've got plenty of uh, grass growing. We might be able to um, start a wheat farm. I don't know. Maybe. We could try. We've got a chicken right here. That's not going to be... we got more chickens over here. I don't know if those things are going to spawn uh, like they did just now. I'm not seeing anything else too crazy nearby we got some cows which could be good a ravine seriously a ravine this in this seed well it's better than nothing so well not too much of a ravine maybe just a big crater Ooh, got some darkness down here you know what i'm gonna leave this that cave down as a uh, mystery in case we choose this seed. So I think we've pretty much looked at everything this seed has to offer. So let's go back to the title screen. And then let's go ahead and take a look at the seed for this one. And there we go. So what I'm going to quickly do is I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to leave this up for a few seconds. So in case you guys want to copy the seed down yourself. Okay, you got that seed. So let's go ahead and take a look at this seed. Give you guys a moment to write this down. Okay, you guys got it. Okay, now let's go ahead and take a look at this seed again. And we have this. Okay. So... Now I'm not, I didn't actually require you guys to write down each of those seeds, but now we at least have a good look at what each of these seeds are and what the seeds actually, what, what's in each individual seed and what the actual uh, code for each seed is. So yeah, um, I'm going to have a Twitter poll um, down in the description uh, where you guys can take a vote on which of these seeds you want me to end up using now it's not going to be in the description right away i'm going to post the video and then create the seed so if you're watching this video the instant it comes out um don't worry this the uh twitter poll will be in the description in a few minutes but if you're watching this at a later time then most likely the uh twitter poll is already in the description so yeah, that's what we're going to be doing uh, for this video. So go ahead, cast your vote. Which of the three seeds do you want me to use? And you guys, that's going to be it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys are excited for me bringing back the single-player survival series because, quite honestly, I'm a bit excited to be bringing this back as well. If you're looking forward to this uh, series coming back, make sure to go ahead and hit that like button down below. Also, make sure to hit that subscribe button for, if you're new to the channel. Thank you guys for watching, and with that, I will see you guys later.